your sunglasses. They're not a style statement this morning. Okay, you? let me just take operation. over and give you guys a, a break with the It's all yours. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I don't say certain things, <clears throat> my life won't be worth living. Okay. All right, go right. on. Uh, it, oh, it, Hard to Please OAPs airs tonight, ITV, 8.30, okay? Okay. Number two, uh, I will be doing... Two wonderful concerts in Amsterdam before 85,000 people called Toppers. And I can't wait. It's going to be wonderful. A star-studded event because I'm the star. <laughs> and after that... Guys, be... this, is a, this is a no, master no, no, class. No, 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 no. This is a master class in taking control. <laughs> no, this is, is fantastic. Sugar, that'll be that. May 31st yep. and June 1st. Okay. Uh, then <laughs> on June 9th, I'll be doing the Dunfield House right. with the choirs that'll be put together with people who want to sing with Sheila Ferguson. And they'll be singing behind me and I'll be singing some of the songs I've written for The Three Degrees. Love right. that. That'll be great. And lastly, after that, lastly. <laughs> I'll be doing on June 29th and 30th at the NEC, The Dating Game Live. Right. Ta-da! Ta -da. And that's all we've got time for. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, why, okay, but why the, sh why the shades? Because Charlotte said you're not Well, no, I had the surgery on both eyes. What did um, you have done? Huh? What did you have done? I had the cataracts removed and ah. lenses put in. Yeah. So basically, I don't need glasses anymore. Cool. So I don't have any makeup on, so you ain't going to see my eyes. <laughs> but um, I, um, I, 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 I could wear makeup, but it's too close to the end of my check when I'm going to have my check up. To risk it. No, and how are these plastic? It. How are these plastic lenses working for you? Are, are, are well, I can you great see. Vision? I can yeah, see. Fantastic. But the vision is it's wonderful. I won't need glasses ever again. Yeah, yeah. But it don't. I don't want to um, tempt fate at the moment. No, of course I mean, not. It's, it's just Do as the doctor close. says. Eyes Do as the doctor says. Well, especially uh, the, uh, Dr. Dmitry Kazakov is a hunk. Okay. And he's also a great surgeon. So is that why you pay attention and follow his every order? It helps. <laughs> Absolutely. One of the thing, reasons you're here is to, to speak up for Megan. You think Megan's cool? I think Megan's fantastically cool. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, I always thought that um, eventually there would be a, a, a thing where she'd get picked at. Every little thing she did got picked at. You've actually been on record as saying that in those days, the, quest, the, the, the prospect of somebody of colour uh, joining the royal family was just not even up for discussion. The days 30, 40 years ago was a very, very different time. <clears throat> there was no way um, there would have been anyone of uh, colour that close to the royal family. If you'd met Charles now, if you were, if you were 40 years younger... Right. ..and he was, and you met him now, in 2019, <laughs> do you think you might have ended up marrying him? I might have ended up maybe dating him, but we never dated. No. No. But you were very close. Well, you were, weren't you? I mean, you said that. You're on record Well, maybe explain that. how close you were then at the time. Well, why does everybody care so much about it? It was a long time ago. <laughs> but it's the royal family. <laughs> Everyone cares every yeah, detail about the royal family. Yeah, but, I mean, he's a lovely guy. I mean, how many people could say they, they stepped on the Queen's toe? Well, that's right, because he introduced you to his... He said, can I introduce you to my mother? Yeah, and, and I went, like, no, he he's, no, he said, my mum. <laughs> and I went, uh, uh, hyperventilate. It's like, it's not your mother, that's the Queen of England, fool. You know. <laughs> And uh, he, he was, he's that down-to-earth and that normal. And I didn't know whether to curtsy or bow or <laughs> whatever. And I did all three. <laughs> and uh, she said, oh, so nice to meet you. Uh -huh. He's told me so much about you. Uh -huh. And I felt this big. You know, and he said, oh, don't worry about it. Listen, it's weird that your, your new show's called, uh, got the OAP in the title, because you hate... Oh, I do hate that expression. Yeah, yeah. I think because American in America we say senior citizens. Okay. And you're ready to wrap That's it up. Better, isn't it? Well, we look forward to seeing the show tonight. Anyway, thank, thank you. Thank